Sukhoi Su-57. The first aircraft in Russian military service to emphasize stealth, the Su-57 employs a variety of methods to reduce its radar signature. Similar to other stealth fighters such as the F-22, the aircraft aligns the planform edges to reduce its radar cross-section, the leading and trailing edges of the wings and control surfaces, and the serrated edges of skin panels are carefully angled to reduce the number of directions the radar waves can be reflected. Weapons are carried internally in weapons bays within the airframe and antennas are recessed from the surface of the skin to preserve the aircraft's stealthy shape, while radar absorbent material coatings absorb radar emissions and reduce the reflection back to the source. The infrared search and track sensor housing is turned backwards when not in use and its rear is also treated with RAM. To mask the significant RCS contribution of the engine face, the walls of the inlet ducts are coated with RAM and the partial serpentine ducts obscure most of the engine's compressor face and inlet guide vanes. The remaining exposed engine face is masked by a slanted blocker grid placed in front of the IGV at a distance of 0.7, 1.2 times the diameter of the duct, similar in principle to the method on the Boeing F divided by a minus 18E divided by F. The aircraft canopy is coated with 70 to 90 nanometers thick metal oxide layers, with enhanced radar wave absorbing to minimize the radar return of the cockpit by 30%, and protect the pilot from the impact of ultraviolet and thermal radiation. The production tolerances are significantly tighter than previous Russian fighters in order to improve stealth characteristics. The combined effect of airframe shape and RAM of the production aircraft is estimated to have reduced the aircraft's RCS to a value 30 times smaller than that of the Su-27. Sukhoi's patent for the T-50 stealth feature cites an intention to reduce average RCS to approximately 0.1 to 1 square meter, compared to the Su-27's RCS of approximately 10 to 15 square meters. The Su-57's design emphasizes frontal stealth, with RCS reducing features most apparent in the forward hemisphere. The shaping of the aft fuselage is less optimized for radar stealth compared to American stealth designs such as the F-22 and F-35, likely as a result of cost reduction as well as the Russian doctrine of operating the aircraft within the umbrella of friendly, integrated air defense systems. As with other stealth fighters, the Su-57's low observability measures are chiefly effective against high frequency, between 3 and 30 GHz, radars, usually found on other aircraft. The effects of Rayleigh scattering and resonance mean that low-frequency radars, employed by weather radars and early warning radars are more likely to detect the Su-57 due to its size. Such radars are also large, susceptible to clutter and are less precise. Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II Stealth is a key aspect of the F-35's design, and radar cross-section is minimized through careful shaping of the airframe and the use of radar-absorbent materials. Visible measures to reduce RCS include alignment of edges, serration of skin panels, and the masking of the engine face and turbine. Additionally, the F-35's divertless supersonic inlet uses a compression bump and forward-swept cowl rather than a splitter gap, or bleed system to divert the boundary layer away from the inlet duct, eliminating the diverter cavity and further reducing radar signature. The RCS of the F-35 has been characterized as lower than a metal golf ball at certain frequencies and angles. In some conditions, the F-35 compares favorably to the F-22 in stealth. For maintainability, the F-35 stealth design took lessons learned from prior stealth aircraft such as the F-22. The F-35's radar-absorbent fiber mat skin is more durable and requires less maintenance than older tarp coats. The aircraft also has reduced infrared and visual signatures as well as strict controls of radio frequency emitters to prevent their detection. The F-35 stealth design is primarily focused on high-frequency X-band wavelengths. Low-frequency radars can spot stealthy aircraft due to Rayleigh scattering, but such radars are also conspicuous, susceptible to clutter, and lack precision. To disguise its RCS, the aircraft can mount for Lundberg lens reflectors. Noise from the F-35 caused concerns in residential areas near potential bases for the aircraft, and residents near two such bases, Luke Air Force Base, Arizona, and Eglin Air Force Base, Florida, requested environmental impact studies in 2008 and 2009 respectively. Although the noise level in decibels were comparable to those of prior fighters such as the F-16, the sound power of the F-35 is stronger particularly at lower frequencies. 
Subsequent surveys and studies have indicated that the noise of the F-35 was not perceptibly different from the F-16 and F divided by a minus 18E divided by F, though the greater low-frequency noise was noticeable for some observers. The Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon Analysts noted that the J-20's airframe employs a holistic approach to reduce its radar cross-section. Uniquely combining canard wings with leading edge root extensions, the Chine for Bodhi, modified radar radome, an electroconductive canopy use a stealth shaping, yielding signature performance in a mature design similar to the F-22. The divertilis supersonic inlets leading into serpentine inlets can obscure the reflective surface of the engine from radar detection. DSI intakes save weight, reduce complexity, and minimize radar signature. Additional low observable features include a flat fuselage bottom holding an internal weapons bay, sawtooth edges on compartment doors, mesh coverings on cooling ports at the base of the vertical tails, embedded antennas, and radar absorbent coating materials. While the aircraft's fins are strakes and axisymmetric rear areas may expose the aircraft to radar, the overall stealth shaping is robust and considerably more capable than the Russian PAKFA. Improvements regarding stealth were subsequently introduced, one prototype in 2014 was powered by WS-10 engines equipped with different jagged edge nozzles and tiles for greater stealth. The J-20 production model with the serrated WS-10C engine is also capable of mitigating negative effects on rear aspect stealth. Others have raised doubts about the use of canards on a low observable design, stating that canards would guarantee radar detection and compromise stealth. However, these critiques with respect to the canards RCS may be unfounded. Canards and low observability are not necessarily mutually exclusive designs. Northrop Grumman's proposal for the US Navy's advanced tactical fighter incorporated canards on a stealthy airframe. Lockheed Martin employed canards on a stealth airframe for the Joint Advanced Strike Technology Program during early development before, dropping them due to complications with aircraft carrier recovery. McDonnell Douglas and NASA's X-36 featured canards and was considered to be extremely stealthy. Radar cross-section can be further reduced by controlling canard deflection through flight control software, as on the Eurofighter. Similarly, Chinese aerospace researchers also concluded that, in terms of stealth, the canard delta configuration is comparable with the conventional arrangement. Defense observer Rick Joe believes J-20's configuration is stealthy, while there is a lack of evidence for the popular assumption of canard's inherent incompatibility with stealth. Composite materials are applied to minimize the J-20's radar cross-sections. The divertilis supersonic inlet enables an aircraft to reach Mach 2.0 with a simpler intake than traditionally required, and improves stealth performance by eliminating radar reflections between the diverter and the aircraft's skin. Analysts have also noted that the J-20 DSI reduces the need for the application of radar absorbent materials. A removable radar reflectors is mounted on the underside of the J-20 to amplify its radar returns, concealing the real radar signature. In the 2021 production model, the emitter is re-engineered to be retractable. In May 2018, Indian Air Chief Marshal B.S. Danoa claimed at a press conference that the radars on India's Su-30 MKI fighters were good enough and could detect a J-20 from several kilometers away, while answering a question on whether the J-20 posed a threat to India. 119, 120. Analyst Justin Bronk from Royal United Services Institute noted that Chinese were possibly flying the J-20 with radar reflectors during peacetime for safety and training purposes due to the potential for accidents and identification from other aircraft or ground installations. In a more recent report, Bronk also states that even with limited stealth, J-20 could hide and strike enemy critical platforms in an airspace with background clutter caused by non-stealth fighters and other electromagnetic noise. Despite debate regarding J-20's stealth capability, military analysts agree that the J-20's stealth design is superior to that of the Russian Su-57 and its stealth profile could be further enhanced as the program matures. If you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up, comment and of course subscribe to our channel and enable notifications not to miss new interesting videos so more people can see it and enjoy it too. Thanks.